Did you find it more confining to write for film than, than for the stage? Oh, in a sense I do because, um, yes, uh, my first love is the way people use and misuse language. Um, I, after I finished engineering at university, I, I, my, my real passion was psychology. I went back and did an MA prelim in psychology specialising in social psychology and I was about to, to do postgraduate work in that area. And um, status, power, interpersonal manipulation, um, the use of language to do that was part of where I was going as a psychologist. And in a sense, the stage work was just uh, a laboratory on stage, if you like. It's how people manipulate, use, fool themselves, fool others, um, uh, the quest for power, uh, the struggle for status, all of that in a sense is a study of language and the way people use it. So on the stage, I really have fun with the way people use and misuse language. Now, you can't do that to the same extent on film because film, as I said, is a much more visual medium. Um, moods are expressed by faces, atmospheres are expressed by fog rising in the, in the valley. And, um, uh, but I do think one of the weaknesses of Australian film has been a tendency to see it too much as a, a visual medium. Uh, a lot of directors get carried away with the visual and not enough as a storytelling medium. So I do think that's sometimes overdone. I think some films could use a lot better story structure, a lot more story momentum and a lot, quite a lot more dialogue than they do. As a writer on films, have you, have you felt you've had enough control over what happened? No, um, films are, are not usually a great experience for writers. Um, films are seen as director's mediums or producer's mediums, producer and director. The writer comes a bad last in that power triangle. In a sense, you feel like you're there to write to prescription, to write to someone else's vision, which is irritating because the thing that writers can do is structure a story, create characters, create believable dialogue, and generate a story momentum. And so it is frustrating when, sometimes when a director believes it's their right to do all of that and you're just there as their um, transcriber. It doesn't always happen. There's, I've had a lot of respect from some, some directors, but um, uh, there's an expression I hate in film when the directors say, okay, you've done a very good script, but I've got to put my stamp on it. Now the stamp can usually be a heavy jackboot, um, and I think the French have got a lot, of, a lot to answer for by inventing the auteur theory that the director is the author of the film. No such thing. In, in, it, it's best it's a collaboration between different talents. And the chances that a top director, good at getting performances out of actors and good at uh, visual language, will also be a top writer are fairly small. Um, so I think we would have done a lot better with more respect for writers and a separation of powers uh, in a sense. I think a few less directors putting their stamp on very well written scripts uh, would have paid dividends.